Hi guys, it's Mina, welcome back. Uh, today we are going to be doing a 24 by 30 inch canvas gallery wrapped from Artist Loft. And we're going to continue with our open cup adventures, which I'm having so much fun with, they're awesome. Today we're using a black base coat. So let me show you my colors real quick. This one is Artist Loft Flow Acrylic in Black. And my paint is not thick today. It is, I've mixed it the same way I always do, but I've added a little bit more Floetrol. And each of these has about a teaspoon of GAC 800 in it. So not leaving a mound on a mound, pretty much sinking right away. Okay, so I actually have three cups of that because the last one I felt like I didn't have enough of a base coat and it was making me crazy. So uh, the first color we're gonna be using is this one is by Arteza. This is their Arteza Acrylic Colors Premiums. This is Pearl Space Gray. Pretty cool color with the mica in it. And uh, I hope it's gonna be cool with this color palette. So, leaving a very, very small mound before it sinks. And again, my pouring medium is Liquitex Gloss Medium and Varnish. Uh, the paint, Floetrol, and in this case, they each have a, a teaspoon of GAC 800 in them. This next one is Golden's Turquoise Thalo. And I just found another jar. Yay! <laughs> I was very excited. <laughs> okay, so that's the turquoise. This one is Liquitex Basics Bright Aqua Green. And I have not done anything to it. This is the color it is. Okay. Nice, pretty color. And I'm hoping that these three work really well together. And then I also have Arteza's Silver in their mica acrylic colors. So that's the silver. And it is very nice, very pretty color. Pretty much sinking. A tiny mound and then it sinks. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. And last but not least, I have a little bit left of my Decor Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold. I debated using this one, but I didn't want it to be too monotone, too... Yeah, monochromatic, I guess. So I think the gold is going to add a nice pop to the palette, especially on the black background. I think it's going to be really cool. So, okay, let's lay down our base coat. One of these is pretty thin, thinner. Okay, I think this is now. We'll use that as a. All right. Just check it one more time. I'm going to thin that out just a tiny bit. See, there I go using my left hand again. <laughs> okay, stir that in really, really well. Because you want your base coat to be thinner than the rest of your paints. You don't want it to be thicker. It's not such a tragedy if it's the same consistency, but you don't want it to be thicker. Okay, so there's our black. Let's go ahead and lay this down. This is a OXO omelet turner from, I got it from Amazon. I will, it's linked in the description box. Please check the description box, you guys. A lot of times you guys ask me for where did I get this or where did I get that? The link is in there. I am not an Amazon affiliate yet just because I haven't done that, but I do have a bunch of links for you guys so you can find what I'm using easily. So that's pretty good. I'm going to pour a puddle of the black Go right over here. All right, so I have seven ounce cup rings and a five ounce cup ring. I'm gonna use the seven ounce. I pulled out the five ounce one just in case. You kinda of wanna put it down in there so it's in the paint, not just sitting right on the surface. I'm put a little tiny bit around the edge. Just to sort of seal it in there. Okay, so let's start with our turquoise. We're going to go from up high, yeah, okay, into the center of the cup. Scale. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put a little bit of silver in there. And then we're going to use some of this 
pearl space gray. Gale blown paint. <laughs> and then a little bit of our bright aqua green. There you go, yay! A little bit of gold. That's pretty cool. All right. I think I want to put a little bit more turquoise on top of the gold though. Okay, that's good. All right, I'm gonna leave that one alone and let it keep doing its thing. I am gonna turn the canvas though. She can keep doing whatever she wants, but it's not gonna run off the side there. Okay. A whole bunch of tiny birds just showed up. <laughs> One was so funny. It flew in the little tough shed the other day and was sitting there and started singing at me. And I was like, hi. <laughs> it was so cute. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna pour a little bit around the edge of that. All right, let's start with a little bit of gold this time. And then we're gonna go turquoise. Silver. And some of that space gray. Bright aqua green. I like the silver. Let's do that one more time. Drip, just cover it up. It'll be fine. Okay. Can you go back down that way? Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna turn this one more time. So the reason that I am leaving the rings on there for a while and not touching them just yet is because uh, the first one of these that we did blooming. Um, I did this one part with this copper in there and it was just amazing and it was these beautiful copper cells coming up and then I got all excited and wanted to pour the other one so I took the ring off. So, <laughs> but I realized if you leave it alone for a while and you let it develop, it's actually much cooler. Okay, so this is going to be our third one. Let's see. Let's start with some of this space gray first. Put some wing gold in there. And some turquoise. Bright aqua green. And let's go back to gold. Oh, let's put some silver in first. That's so cool. Gold. That's really, really pretty actually. I think I want to put some turquoise on top of that. Okay. All right. That's good. So I'm going to turn this around again. Just because I don't want this guy to come off the canvas. Shove and everything go that way a little bit. Okay. So. Now I'm going to use the rest of this black and put it on the corners a little bit more because I see it looks a little dry there. You see what I'm talking about? And over here too. thought once in a while it does happen um, 
of what would happen if we filled the cup, like layered a cup with some color and then poured a ring pour into an open cup. So let's try that. I have a little tiny cup here and I have a little tiny ring. <laughs> this is the one for the five ounce cup. Great. So let's see. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit of black in the bottom and then some turquoise, a little bit of silver, some of that space gray, a little bit of gold, some bright aqua green. more black and I'm gonna end that one with the turquoise okay all right so let's just try it over here oh my goodness that was not good that was the wrong cup <laughs> all right okay don't stress scrape it up and more black this is why I have more black okay Okay. All right, that's fine. Okay, so we're gonna put our ring on there. And I am doing it on the edge so that if it doesn't work, I can tilt it off. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Okay, here we go. We're gonna do a ring pour in here and see what happens. Nothing is happening. Oh, there we go. I see some cells. Okay. All right. It's a pretty ring pour in there. I'm not gonna fix the center. <laughs> okay. Let's swirl these off while that one hopefully does some more things. Okay. So I'm just gonna take this and kind of pull that black across the surface of the canvas. That's really cool. Okay, there's one. And here's two. Okay. So I think this one didn't quite do it as much because I wasn't pouring it from up high. So height is important. Okay. Fill in a little dry spot right there. Let's torch this. Right here, see all the cells coming up? Okay. So, I know I've said it a few times in the last few videos, but I just wanna go over it one more time. When we're doing an open cup, the ring is sitting on the surface of a puddle of paint. As I pour the paint from up high, force of the gravity pushes it down underneath the lip of the cup and pushes it out and the lip of the cup acts like a swipe. So that's why we're getting all these cells. There is no silicone in my paint. You're getting the cells from the technique. Okay, let's tilt this. I like that. I like that. Let's go that way first though. Oh, wait, let me move these. Okay, here we go. Just gonna go down to that edge. There's a lot of paint on here, but that's okay. I'm just gonna go 
off that edge right there. Come back. Come back down towards the center. And we're going to go down this way now. those little cute cells over the edge there. Keep those cells though if I can. And just get rid of the black. Okay. I'll get most of them. Some of them. <laughs> okay. Take it back down to the middle now. Okay. Let's look at this for a second. Because there's a few things I like, but there's a few things that I'm not crazy about. I'm not crazy about the blobbiness right there. And that's from where we twirled the cup off. So I may actually put it back on there and twirl it again to give it a bit of a better composition. Okay, that's better. Just let that fill back in for a second. And if we don't like it, then it's close enough to the edge where we could tilt it off. I think I want to take that down a little bit. I'm not crazy about it. some of it, but I don't want to leave all of that like that. cool stuff on here but I don't know there's some parts of it that I'm not crazy about hmm I wonder what would happen if we did it again I'm not going to put a lot of paint in here just a little but I'm up high. When I pour it from up high though, a lot comes out. <laughs> I'm trying not to get a lot on there. Okay, see, that's really pretty. I like that a lot. That's pretty neat. I think I'm gonna do the same thing over here on top of where that little ring pour one was. A little bit of space gray. Okay. 
And then to get all of the paint out of that one, I'm going to get a shot of black in there. Ooh. Okay. Well, a shot of black missed. <laughs> but that might end up being really neat. Okay. See, this one gave us all these really cool black and gold cells right there. That's awesome. And now, lesson learned, I'm going to twirl it off the canvas that way instead of towards the middle. Okay. Let's see if we can't twirl this one towards the center and then back out just to fill up some of that black puddle. Okay. So a little more tilting. <laughs> Which one do we want to do first? Let's do this one first. Pretty much just going to take that down. And this one is going to move too, so that's okay. Okay. See, I like that better. <laughs> Okay, let's torch it one more time. for this one. It's pretty cool. There's some really pretty parts in here and I think that it's going to dry pretty nice because there's a lot of metallics. The metallic silver, the gold, that pearl space color. So that's going to be cool. Okay. Thanks for hanging out with me guys. I will see you when it's dry. Okay. So this is actually the next day. It's been very, very hot and windy here, and it dried overnight, which is kind of cool. Uh, I am definitely glad that I used the GAC 800 in there, because it did not crack. Um, beautiful colors. That gold is amazing. And the bright aqua green. And the turquoise together. And there's bits of that um, Arteza pearl space color. Which is pretty trippy. Beautiful parts in this though. Some really, really gorgeous cells. Just beautiful stuff. There are some organic embellishments as well, <laughs> shall we say. <laughs> it seems as though the little buggy things really like the scent of that GAC 800. I have never seen so many little critters trying to like dive bomb a painting before it was kind of crazy yeah stuff got kind of crazy after we turned the cameras off <laughs> but eventually we took it to another area and we put a net over the top of it and it thankfully it dried really really fast but uh this is kind of neat though it's kind of cool i don't know if you guys can see it i see almost like tagging <laughs> i see the letter k and a u and a big m and another u which is the Hawaiian word, actually, kumu, for teacher. And um, so I thought that was pretty neat. So we're going to call this one kumu. <laughs> but there are some amazing cells in this thing. So the interesting part, this over here on the edge, this is the part with that like sort of hazy turquoise color with those gold cells. That's where the ring pour was inside the cup. And I thought it didn't really work, but then watching the video, it did actually kind of work. So we might have to explore that some more. The ring pour in an open cup. Pretty cool stuff, though. 
And there's some sort of tropical fish down there at the bottom. <laughs> so this one is Kumu. And uh, it definitely did teach me something. So just wanted to take a moment and thank all of you so much for your very generous donations for Sarah Max GoFundMe. Um, I want to give you an update. She is out of surgery and she is in a recovery room and she's awake and she's feeling great. So everything went very well and her doctors are very optimistic. So thank you again so much. I can't tell you how much it means to her and to me. You guys are awesome in this beautiful community that we've all created and loving kind people is just so nice to be a part of. So thank you so much. Okay, we'll see you guys for the next one. Have a great day. Bye-bye.